So I'm still waiting on my Mega Bee to show up. It's been almost a month. I know it's coming though, it's getting close. I've been playing in the simulator. The simulator is a lot of fun. It was super frustrating to start with because it's so much different to fly these drones. But I just wanted to share a quick tip with you that really helped me get things kind of under control where I could fly and actually start to show improvements and do a lot better. So a regular drone self levels, that's that's your biggest issue. So you notice here I kind of I give it a little throttle, I start lifting off, and then I tap it forward. So that's the right joystick. Just to give it a little tilt forward, that's how you get your forward motion. So knowing that that little tap put it on that axis and it's moving forward now I've and my throttle's good. I'm just gonna keep it kind of out of place. So now I'm just dealing with left and right on the both joysticks for the yaw on the left and right. And then keeping my elevation, my horizon where I want it. So you notice I can elevate, pitch it forward, get a little speed. And now I'm just doing left and right joysticks. And now that I'm taking a couple axes and, and different thoughts out of play, because what I was doing is I was overcompensating all the time with this whole pitching forward, thinking that it's gonna self level and, and kind of come back like a normal drone does, which it totally doesn't. I would always end up pitching forward more, which would overcompensate, give it way too much speed, and then I'd try to back off give it too much you know it's really tough because the camera doesn't self level it's stuck in its position so when you try and back off you don't know if you're kind of going backwards or going forward depending on what type of train you're in so it's kind of tricky but yeah if you don't have one of these FPV drones or you're thinking about getting one get a remote start playing in the simulators you'll totally start getting things down you'll really really like the, the feel of it and you'll, you'll get one for sure I'm super excited to get mine throw on the goggles use things test it out but just want to throw out that little tip but uh, start with that and I think you'll it'll be a quick tip to lose a lot of the frustrations and get in and start enjoying the game ready for the real deal when it comes around which I'll post more about later I'm super excited to get it it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a great toy I'm excited for it when it comes I'll let you know how it goes Obviously, I'm going to have to learn so many more things, but this, this was one of many tips to come. So, if you like that, make sure you subscribe. Drop me a comment. We do a lot of contests. Looking forward to do more of these. I've got some other builds coming up. So, yeah, subscribe. Follow along with the journey. If you've got tips, make sure you share them with me. This got quite a learning curve, but I'm excited to be where I'm at. Let's go play. Big thanks from Zen Times 10 for watching. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe. We have future promos and contests coming up. Click that like button and drop us a comment on the way out.